I'm so excited to get to see Brad. Brad, how are you? Hi, Sylvia. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm, I'm super happy that you can be part of DevNet Day. Really excited that you've been at the forefront, really, of getting ready for the DevNet specialization for partners. So um, thank you so much for being here. And let's talk about what customers are looking for in terms of programmability and automation and how you have been helping them up until now. Sure, I, I think uh, a lot of this starts with, you know, customers who are uh, migrating to cloud or cloud-like environments. They're, they're finding that things um, are becoming more and more software defined. You know, it used to be just a buzzword, but I think there's a little bit more meat behind that now, and it actually has more meaning. So as part of that, you know, customers want to be able to automate the deployment of applications and applications really become a first class citizen finally, you know, after all these years, you know, as you know, with Cisco ACI, when it first came to market market with the application centric uh, networking, you know, I think we're finally at a point where there's some meaning behind what that is, you know, we're rationalizing applications for customers, helping them understand what they have, and then bringing automation to the forefront to help bring those applications to their customers. So it's become real, and that means real pain points, real needs. So, um, you know, it's not just about, hey, I'm part of the developer community, but this is about the business. So um, what are you seeing are those main pain points? Um, well, you know, as, as customers, you know, bring these things to market, their applications um, need to become very highly available, you know, they already are, but, you know, the business, the businesses are really pushing their IT organizations to be more centered around bringing new features and functionality to their customers. So as part of that, keeping the lights on isn't enough anymore. They've got to be able to be more agile, be more consistent and reliable with what they're releasing and be able to bring new things to market. So th those are the challenges that, that our customers are having and you know, automation and programmability really just are the foundational parts of that. They sit underneath those applications and, and make sure that they're able to be um, brought to market in a much more uh, quick and agile manner. So Brad, you've been a member of the DevNet community for a long time. Your team, you got the certifications. How, how did you take it the next step to say, Hmm, we really want to get started with this DevNet specialization for partners. I mean, no one has that yet. And you're thinking we want to go for it. What, what do you think that it's going to help you do for your customers better? If you have this DevNet specialization for partners. Sure, sure. That's a great question. I mean, I, I think, you know, as soon as that uh, initial blog article came out that announced it, you know, we, we were very excited about that uh, just because it was, it was validating you know, where we saw the industry is heading and what our customers were asking for. And, um, you know, a lot of the work that we've been doing already has had programmability and automation behind the scenes to help our customers. And that is giving us the opportunity to take that more as a front focused offering to our customers. So what advice would you have for other partners who want to go through this process and you know, within the community, would you consider partnering with other Cisco partners to build something that, that Cisco hasn't built before using Cisco APIs and everything you've learned in your certification and specialization journey? Cisco's done a great job of creating a nice foundation with the certification path. The DevNet certification path really is a great starting point for any organization. It helps kind of validate the individuals within the organization and give them, you know, a bit of a, a badge, so to speak, a, a, you know, like, hey, I can do this. And as organizations become more mature, they can look within their, their teams and their organizations to see who's actually doing this. It, you know, partners might be surprised to find that there is a lot of this already happening within their organizations and just need to build some um, structure around that. So I'd say the whole DevNet uh, team has been great and, you know, we've been, um, you know, following along uh, the journey from the beginning, I think, and, you know, Susie, Wee has done a fantastic job of, of bringing everyone together and getting them excited about what's possible. 
and you know I you know there are uh, others within the organization like um, uh, Chuck Stickney who's really I think put the structure behind the program and you know in general I just you know the, the entire the entire community and all the content that's been created is incredible you know we have so much uh, content available up on DevNet now to help and you know people on our team to to gain the, these types of skills um, all the people who are creating that content I think really need they deserve a big shout out it's great thank you so much for being part of this journey that DevNet has been on and uh, and for sharing with us what it means to your business congratulations on your DevNet partner specialization DevNet specialization for partners welcome thank you so much Sylvia it's been a pleasure. Thank you.